Jim Halley intention. Backstate engine. Yeah. Anchor window switched on. Yeah. Got the remote for the right, that's everything done. Cool. Off to Shibata. Shibata. We spent almost a month around Paxos, but during that time we also spent a week cruising in company with friends on a chartered power catamaran. But we were in for a bit of a surprise as we raised the sail to set off and meet them. Oh my god! This is Intrepid Bear, a 40 foot sailboat off to explore the world with her crew Ian and Kate. Come aboard and let's see what's out there. So it appears that in a few short weeks, spiders had built a nest out of what looked like concrete in our mainsail, and it all come tumbling out as the sail was hoisted. They've obviously burst in there. Yeah. Right, we never stay in one place for so long, on the <laughs> So we only have the engine on for about five minutes there and uh, we've come out, the sail's up and we are sailing. We're not going very fast, 1.9 knots in two point, sorry, four, four and a half knots of wind. A little bit more picking up as we come around the point here and we'll harden up a bit, come a bit more up towards Corfu. The wind's meant to bend round more to the north as the afternoon goes on. So we'll make as much north as we can before it comes round and then we'll head across uh, east to Sivota. So that's the plan. Got quite an unusual situation here. The wind is doing almost exactly what it was forecast to do. It's picked up in the afternoon as it's supposed to do and it's swinging around more to the north. So we've now got about nine or 10 knots of wind and we're doing 5.2 knots of boat speed, which is pretty flipping nice really. How's your sail? It's fantastic. Happy sailor right there. Yeah. Right there. We dropped anchor right in front of our friends in a crystal clear bay. So, cruising around with friends, I confess filming took a back seat. However, when we stumbled on the stunning little town of Parga, we had to fall back to our phone cameras to share it with you.
I haven't got the GoPro this morning, so it's phone footage, but we're on Parga, or in Parga, is a little town on the mainland. And there's a castle on top of the rock that we spotted from the water. And we'd heard there were some quite fascinating steps to go up there. So we're doing that now. now these steps are a step and a slope. So each step itself is a hill. Well, yeah, we're there already, it's not too high actually. We'll show you the view in a minute. Spiky gate. This is the outside. Yeah, it's stop. Shot. Stop well, people climbing. And back on Paxos Island, we visited the capital, Gaos, which also holds a special place in our hearts. So behind us, this is the town hall. This is where we got married five years ago. This is Gaios, the main port on Paxos. Uh, although we just had the wedding here, it was like a 15 minute ceremony. And um, the, main, the main thing was in Laka, um, but it was still quite a special place for us. So the town hall behind us here, five years ago, almost to the day, a couple of days there, uh, getting married here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's a kiss. We finished our time with friends back in Laka, where there was no shortage of drama on the quay. As we prepared to leave, we had to make sure we didn't become part of that drama ourselves. Okay, so uh, really, really hot. We just had to leave Laka. But now it's time to move on and we're actually really looking forward to it. We've had a great time, but we've been in Laka for a month nearly. On and Three weeks. Apart from, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, we were away for a week. Uh, so it's good to go. So at the moment we're on Laka Quay. I don't think we filmed ourselves coming in. So we've got two stone lines ashore uh, on the quayside and we've got the anchor out the front of the boat. Um, the only thing we've got is we've got this great big pirate ship next to us and our anchor is going off down almost under the pirate ship. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of just let go and let her just creep herself forward because the wind's going to blow us away from the ship. And if you just don't do anything to start with, just let her swing out on her anchor chain because she should just swing away from the pirate ship altogether. And I might even ask you to let some out, so listen for what I'm asking for. Yeah. It'll either be out or in, so that I don't, because I just don't know how far over our chain she is. It may be that her chain is over our anchor, because she came in after us, in which case we may be stuck here until Penny, the lady who runs the boat, back. comes okay. back. Um, hopefully they won't be too long, but we may end up dangling on their anchor if our anchor's under their chain. Because to get our anchor out from under their chain, we need them to slack their chain, while we lift their chain, tip up our anchor and drop their chain. So um, it'd be really difficult to do that with them not here and they'll, they'll have a big chain as well. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, hopefully they're not over the top of us, but if they are, we'll have a cup of tea and wait for them to come back. Right, port line's gone.
Okay, start hauling, but listen for a stop. Okay, stop. Where's the chain going? Sideways. Yeah. Okay. All right, carry on. If, if the load comes on, like it starts struggling, then stop, yeah? That is the 10 metre marker, so it's not much more. Okay. I think it's broken free. If you're up to the swivel, I'll finish it. Steer gently off over ground. So out of lacquer and setting a course to the south, but the trip down memory lane not quite finished yet. But where are we actually going now? We're actually going now to Chubok Bay. Yeah, so it's a bit weird for a while. We're kind of five years in the planning at least um, to go to lacquer after our wedding, you know, for our anniversary. And now we kind of achieved the interim dream and we've got to recalibrate now we don't really know where we're going now we're just bimbling along have i already said this i might have already said this to the camera i can't remember but we're just bimbling now with no particular plan apart from we've got to get out of schengen again at the end of august yeah we have no real plan now which is partly partly a bit of a oh, bit of an anticlimax well kate kate's kind of excited only just sort of sat there and thought about it so I thought it was really nice to know that we we don't have a plan. Yeah, you know, we, we, we want to stay somewhere, we can stay there if we're going to move on. Yes, we're going to gradually make our way east, but I'm quite excited to be going yeah, new places and with no real plan. Yeah, she's more excited than me. I'm kind of still calibrating to the to the fact and like, oh, well, what are we actually supposed to be doing now? So I'll see. I'm sure I'll settle into it quite nicely. But yeah, so different views on the new adventure which doesn't actually have a target at the moment so watch this space and we'll see where we end up but today we're heading for two rock <laughs> bay <laughs> which is a bay that we visited on our honeymoon kate already said that it's a lovely little bay so we'll go over there and have a look um there's virtually no wind at all we have got the head sail out we're just bimbling along gently under engine to save fuel um but there's not a lot of sailing to show you so we're probably literally just show you to what bay when we get there.
So it's quarter past six, we're going on a little dinghy mission to explore around the corner where our friends uh, Ian and Natalie on SP Blown Away tell us that there is a little secret cove where there's probably not going to be anyone there. So we're going to bimble around there and have a little look and a snorkel and uh, a little explore. 